right, good day everybody. Woo, she's pretty warm up here. We went from me complaining about snow and winter to instant summer. There was no spring here. Spring right now is absolutely gone. We went from cold, snow plowing, high snow banks to instamatic summer. It is at least 75 degrees, which it has been for the last three or four days. And we just kicked the shit out of all the snow. Like we just put the hammer to the snow. Have a look at that. Look at those snow banks over there. Them big five footers, four footers, all gone. These monsters gone. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. Well, it kind of is. Now, you guys have seen me run the excavator and clean up this property. I've shot videos and all that, but we never get to see the end result on what I'm really striving for. And it's about water control. And... Hold on, I think I see something blow across the driveway over there. It couldn't be. The $20 bill that she lost before we left. There it is. There's that goddamn $20 bill as I'm shooting the video. One we lost a day and a half ago. Look at that. She had that in her phone case before she left. <laughs> we got to town and she lost the coffee money and there it is blowing across the driveway. I'll stick that in my pocket for the moment. Okay, well that was kind of neat. Okay, let's get back to the real issue. I want to show you guys the end result of this grading over here. All right, so have a look here. Look at that stream and that water channel that I cut from the bush up there. When I first bought this property, all this snow and water would come right down toward the house and it would just make a huge mess. It would come right over top of this driveway where there was no real path. There was a culvert here and a bit of a catch basin to catch water here, but it was a mess. It was stumps, it was bush. As you guys, if you go back in my early videos, you'll see I cleaned all this out. I graded it all out and it's graded all toward this culvert now. And I stacked all the rocks in here for erosion. I seeded all this down and lawn and everything, and now you can see the fruits of my labor. The water coming out of that bush, out of that swamp, and I mean, it, it's just epic in the spring like it is now. Well, where was it going before? It was going all over the driveway, it was going everywhere. And I'm quite happy about this. That's why I'm shooting this video. Anyway, now look at it. I'm draining that bush and that swamp in there, and it's big, and it comes right down and it gathers right here. Of course, you can't see because of the snow. But listen to that. Okay, and all this grading over here of this slope down here, now it all comes around here and it all channels into this drain right here and even up at the trailer. Have a look up there. All that snow and water used to all roll toward the shop. Well, now it comes down and it hits this swale I cut in here. As you guys can see right there, you can see that running swale. So now all that grading coming down from that bush, beautiful. It comes down and it stops all this water that normally would have kept going. The most of it would have, and it would have made a big mess in the driveway. Now I still have naturally, if you look here, when the snow banks were five and six feet high here, of course this swale couldn't take it all, so it would roll across the driveway and trickle down the low spot and back into this ditch. And right there is where all that water is going. That's the goal, to get the water into that ditch, and it worked quite well. Just a short video, you guys, showing that grade on how I regraded and got that water into this ditch here and into this drain, which works perfect, and I'm really happy about it now. And that's all the less water that's gonna run toward the house, on the driveway, toward the shop, and have a look over here. Not perfect and far from it, but damn good.
I never had it so dry. I never had it so dry in the last couple of years as this shop is right now at this time of year. And of course, I put a tile drain in the front of the shop so the water can't sit. It's going to go downhill. But anyway, I guess you can see that swale cut in the ground there. And if you watch my previous videos on cutting a swale with that track loader, and uh, hopefully I'll get maybe get Mary Jane to tie that in so you guys can see that. I cut a swale in here, and now that water cannot come down the hill and come all the way to the shop like it was doing. Now it hits that swale, goes to the right, runs downhill into that drain. Beautiful. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys the end result of grading this here and getting rid and redirecting some of that water and how important it is to... Tie your eave troughs in. Get the water away from your houses, man. Doesn't matter. Your buildings, everything. Get that water away from your buildings. Get that grading to roll away from all your buildings. Get your eave trough spouts in line and get that water away. And get that grade around your houses as best as you can. You're not going to get perfection. Like I said, we don't strive for perfection. We just strive to do the best job we can. Try and get all that water rolling away from your structures that's just really important and get it going to a ditch or a low spot and then into a ditch whatever you got to do but you don't want water sitting around your uh, foundations or coming in your basement or even laying around in the low spots on your yard if you can help it because it kills the grass and then in the summertime yes the grass will come back but it just gives you the yellowing of the grass for a while it's just a pain in the ass so anyway yeah. so anyway I thought I'd show you guys that, and uh, there's no more appropriate time than to show you that, that drain and those swales working. Okay. All right, make sure you put your life jacket on. And if you ever wondered where all that water is going right now from this grading job that I just showed you, well, here it is. It's coming down to the river down here, and look at that. Look how high that water is, how fast that water is ripping under that bridge. And I guess thank God for structural engineers because this is a fairly new bridge. And uh, look at how it's working on that far bank over there. This is a lot of water. This is a combination of a lot of snow. We had a ton of snow here, as you guys see in the videos. And we got this weak, rapid melt, really flash melt. And then tonight at midnight, it's supposed to start raining on top of this flash melt we're into right now. So, have a look at that. And look at the velocity of that water too. Look how quick it's going. Normally this is a gentle little stream. be a hell of a ride if you fell in all right you guys so i showed you that grading job where all that water is going well it's ending up right here thanks for tuning in and uh there's a whole lot more than my little trickle of water going in here obviously and thanks for tuning in and i'll talk to you later thanks bye